all right guys welcome back to another video doing something a little bit different today guys and i don't i was literally just sitting here debating do i go to cherokee do i go fish the river do i get out in the kayak it's like 15 mile an hour winds talked to a few of my buddies that got out this morning and said it was it, it was tough out there so uh here it is 2 30 and i'm like i just remembered this creek that i've waited before and i know that those smallmouth push up in it to spawn and I remembered I had a buddy that fished it a couple weeks ago that caught a few fish. And I'm like, well, that means they're probably pushing up in there a little bit. So we've got one little tackle box. I don't know if y'all can see in that. We've got a couple little tiny square, uh, crankbaits. We've got some Kitex. We've got a baby bull shaft. We've got a couple Neds. And we've got a Whopper Flopper. And that's all we're taking, guys. I mean, we're going to keep it simple. We've got two spinning rods, and that is it. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to go up here. We're going to wade this creek, see if we can find some, some smallmouth pushed up in there. It is Sunday. I'm hoping there's not a lot of people up here. A lot of them country folks like to go down there and sit and hang out and fish this little creek. But uh, I don't know. Let's get up here. It's about 20 minutes from the house, and let's see if we can catch some creek smallies, guys, doing a little bit of wading. I'm super excited. Hopefully, they're up there. Let's get it, guys. Let's go. guys we just made it up here some of the ogs of the channel have probably seen this spot before but oh it is flooded oh man i was hoping i'd be able to get down there a little bit further but this thing is flooded there's no denying that she is flooded dang it hmm we did get a little bit of rain a couple days ago and i guess that's what it is yep definitely flooded I think we're gonna start on this side over here see what happens we'll fish these rocks climb around these rocks but luckily there's nobody here so i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because i know this place gets fished a little bit we gotta watch out for snakes because i remember when i was up here a year or two ago man there was a ton of snakes so let's see what happens make a few casts i think we'll start out with the little crankbait Let's see, let's get down here. Hopefully we don't lose this thing. We did bring two of them though. Oh, fish on, oh, we, good Lord. We already got a big fish on the first cast. We do. Guys, we've already got a good fish on first cast. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. Oh, stay on there, buddy. He's only got like one hook in his mouth. All right. First cast, guys. Look, came off too. How about that? First cast on the little crankbait. Right there. I had a feeling that would be it. First cast, let's get a picture of it. All right, there he is. Let's get him back in the water. Sweet. And he's gone. We only brought one camera today too, guys. It's definitely hard trying to carry things around up here, you know, especially I, thought, I was expecting to do a little bit of wading, get out into the water. It don't look like we're gonna be able to do that today, but we should be able to walk down this bank and make several casts. And then we can go down the other side of this bridge underneath that waterfall. This may be a good day, guys. I'm throwing 15 pound Runkle braid with a 10 pound leader. And this stuff cast 
phenomenally. It's phenomenal. Cast really far, really good. Hopefully we don't lose it. There's a lot of debris and stuff in here. There it is, another one. Woohoo! Yes! That's what I'm t he absolutely destroyed it. Oh man, how fun. Look at him fighting. Little guy. Get up here, buddy. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. If he's in here, there's gotta be some bigger ones. Guarantee it. Number two, within the first five minutes, little guy. Yes, sir. Thank you, buddy. Now that is fun. They're like, see, if you see this right here, that thing flows down through there. They're kind of sitting right here where that current's flowing down through there. I'm just throwing this thing across it, reeling it right through that current, and that's where both of those fish hit it at, right in that current. Man, they're destroying this thing too. Let's cut across these rocks real quick. This is a really cool spot up here, guys. I'm sure some of you all know it. Super cool. It obviously used to be some kind of something they use for power or something up here for the water. We've got this really big concrete wall that runs down through here. I'm not exactly for sure what it is, but it's a really cool little area. We need to get down there so we can cast up in that area. And I know the snakes are out, so we gotta be careful with that too. There he is. Ooh, that feels like a good one. Not bad. Get out of them rocks. Barely got it hooked. Get up here. Right, oh, sorry bud. There he goes. He's gone. <laughs> Whoops. Woo, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That is what I'm talking about. I had a feeling this would be a good idea. I had a feeling we were gonna catch some fish once we got up here. Heck yes. I'm really surprised there's no one else up here on a Sunday. It's kind of crazy. I've been up here with five or six people fishing before. there all right next we'll stay with this crank guys it's working oh gosh I to say do not hit those lines I don't know I'm kind of thinking like we might not get a ton today I mean we're gonna catch some obviously but not a ton. Oh, now that's a big one. That is a big one. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys, that's a tank. Ooh. Oh my God. That's a giant. That is a giant smallmouth. Please stay on there. She crushed it too. Oh my gosh, guys, that's a, that might be a four pounder. Stay on there, stay on there. Woo! Wow, 
That is an absolute monster, guys. Please stay on there, big girl. Come over here. She is not going. There's two of them with it. Come on, big mama. Come on, big mama. Look at her. She is huge. There was two. There's still two. Still trying to take it from it. Look at that tank. Wow. Now that'd be a good kayak fish right there. That's like a 19 or 20 incher. Holy smokes. There was another big one trying to take it from it, guys. I ran it right behind those rocks. Look at that. Can you all see that? That is a beast of a smallmouth. I've caught a lot of big smallmouth. That's still a good one. Let's see what she weighs. Uh, yeah. Almost three and a half pounds. 3.37. There it is, guys. If y'all can see me. That's probably 19 or 20 inches right there. Beast absolute beast heck yeah let's go let her go come on big mama she's gone there she goes wow now that is why we came up here right there guys i'm gonna throw back in there let me put this thing back on we're gonna make a few more casts now that is what i'm talking about right there guys holy crap that's fun she came there's a rock out there and it bounced off that rock and she came out of there and absolutely destroyed it <clears throat> there was another one with it. I seen that fish as soon as it hit it. It was a big one. Another one just came after it. Let's try to get way back up in there. There's another big one, guys. That might be bigger. Look how that fish is fighting. God, did y'all see that fish hit that? Look at that. Please stay on there. Woo! Is that bigger? I cannot tell. It feels very heavy. Oh, that's another good one. Oh, and it came off. No! <laughs> Dang it. This thing about crankbaits, man. You're going to lose some. No! That was a good one, guys. Right there off that rock, too. Look, he's chasing. There he is. There he is, guys. Woo! Look at that. Look at him fighting. Oh, he just went underneath the rock. Come on up here, dude. Got him. <laughs> There's another one. Yes, this is so much fun. Holy crap. I'm glad I did this today, guys. It's been a while since I've done any bank fishing or any type of wading. So I may try to walk across out onto this little dark spot up here. It's like, it's like gravel, but it may be kind of deep on the side there. Anyways, there's another one, guys. It's like number five. I'm having a blast though. So cool having places like this here in Tennessee, man. We were just surrounded by so many cool fisheries, so many cool creeks, rivers. Man, just lucky. If people would just take care of it, that's the main thing, you know, not leave a mess. <sighs> oh shit. Woo! That just scared the absolute living crap out of me when I picked up my bag. I thought that was a snake. 
that had crawled underneath my little bag. Look at that. Tell me I don't look like a snake. Woo! Holy crap. Holy crap, that scared me. Oh my gosh. Did you all see that? That might be a giant. Sure feels like it. Oh, I think it is. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, it's a, no, not a giant. Definitely a good one though. Look at that. Crushed it. Golly. Come on, boy. He's got it. He's got it pretty good. Woo! Yes, sir. All right, let's let that fish go. All right, there's another one. Not a bad little dude, man. They fight so hard. It's not even funny how hard these fight, these fish fight. It's freaking insane. Come on, baby, give us another one. There he is. Set the hook on him at time, guys. Oh my lord, that's a big one. I think that fish is pretty big, guys. He's got me wrapped around something one. Nope, it's just a good one, I think. Stay on there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yep, that's a big fish. Oh yeah, that's a tank. Not too shabby, boys. Not too shabby. Not as big as the big one we caught today, but they fight so hard, man. These guys are absolutely just stout. Boom. Nowhere near that big one we caught today, but man, he fought just as hard. There we go. Another one for the day on the Deadly Nedley. I'm just kind of slowly dragging that thing across there. It's like the current's pulling it, and I'm just barely pulling it, and it slowly works its way out of the current right into that slack water, and that's when they're hitting it right there. I felt there's another one. Oh, Lord of mercy. That feels like another, oh yeah, that's a big one. They are absolutely destroying it. Don't get over around that pole. Get up here. This is a good one, guys. This is bigger than the one we just caught. I think he's gonna jump. Nope. Nope, same size. They're hitting it so hard. Fat, look how fat he is. Careful, buddy. Easy killer. Boom, another one. They just fight so hard, guys. I mean, that's all there is to it. These things are freaking mean. That is fun. So much fun. I think I'm gonna walk up here one more time, up in this corner, make a few casts with the Ned, and then head out. Go home and eat Sunday. I'm going fishing again tomorrow. I'm gonna head up to Cherokee and do a little bit of pre-fishing for a big tournament we got coming up guys We've got a big joint tournament coming up with four or five different uh, tournament trails 
So, anyways, let's head up here. Throw a few more times off this. I feel like we might be able to pick one off up here on the deadly medley. Pretty good one right there. That is a pretty good fish. Off the top of the wall too. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Get up here, dude. He's been caught before. Got a little sore mouth there. All right, guys, there's another one. We're still catching them, so we're going to try to catch a few more. As long as we're catching them, we'll stay a little bit longer. I'm having too much fun. Just walking down here without falling in. Ain't really much to stop us right here. It's gone. All right, guys, well, that is a wrap. I actually just ran into my buddy Kyle and his brother-in-law and uh, he told me he was fishing today. He said he was going fishing with his brother-in-law and we were going to go maybe, you know, kayak fishing. I asked him anyways and I decided to come up here. He told me he caught a few up here a couple weeks ago and as I was walking up the hill just now, I ran into him. So pretty funny, but man, hopefully they catch a few because I... Pretty, I wore them out today, guys. I'm not going to lie. I caught a lot of fish. Caught that one really big one. That was so much fun. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm about to head to the house. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Something a little bit different on the channel that we haven't done in a long time. Obviously, we do a ton of kayak fishing. You know, it's been a while since we've done some of the jet boat tournaments and jet boat fishing and bass boat. But, like I said, I just wanted to switch it up a little bit today. I uh, had the idea, I was like, oh, I can go up to that creek and see if those smallmouth are pushed up in there. And uh, they were, guys. And I think, the, you know, in the next week or two, there may be more. And some more of the bigger females may push up in here as well. So we may come back in about a week or so and fish this once again. So anyways, guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe for me. Channel's growing. We broke 3,000 subscribers. That's freaking incredible. Um, we're, we're doing good, guys. I mean, it's not where I want it to be. But then again, I realize how this thing works. It's a slow process. It grows slow. But I'm just going to keep having fun and keep putting out content for you guys. And like I said, I appreciate all of y'all that watch. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head to the house. Like I said, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.